There's Nancy. Winter Giant Tiger. I got these sparklers because I'm preparing for Canada Day long weekend because we need sparklers. Nancy. <laughs> Hi, Nancy. Hi. We're doing a donation. <coughs> what section are you going to? Squishmallows. <laughs> Our donations in here. Okay, guys, I look so stuffed. I got super, super excited with my long chomp. Like, yay, backpack, $50. A little bit much, but I used the 20% off, so we paid $40. Hi, by the way. Hi, Nancy. And then I'm not just looking at it, she's like, the fuck? And she noticed that it was fake, and I didn't even catch it. And I'm a pro, but then after, like, well, the thing is, she made me pay for it right away. I was kind of excited. I was in the moment. I didn't take the time to look it over. And then I know a telltale sign when you're, like, looking for fakes is this will have some Chinese shit on it. Like, wang tong, chong, chong, wow. <laughs> and it does. <laughs> uh, not only that, but Nancy was right. She, this is thick, and it shouldn't be this thick. And the shape of this is wrong, too. And then she caught this. Like, what the fuck is that there for? I don't know. Like, like, I think they think you're supposed to fold it. Yeah, but if it's in a, in this material, you really can't fold it. Yes. This material, it's like almost like a Neo neoprene. Thicker, thicker neo. Yeah, it's like almost like a neoprene nylon, very, very thick. And that's like the tall tail sign of fake There is the shop. plastic. There. They do have the plastic, so they're starting to get that shit, right? But... Even the plastic is sloppy, though. It's it not is. like a... Like a circle, circle. I actually kind of felt like this looked a little cheap. This, but they so. did so good with this zipper pull, though. <laughs> you cannot. Uh... But in the end, they gonna fuck up somewhere. Well, there is somehow. a um, plastic uh, thing there. Where? Yeah, there. Uh, is. No, no, no. I mean, made in whatever. Yes, it says made in France right here. <laughs> made in France. Those motherfuckers getting good. Made in France. There's a plastic tag, so. But they're going to screw up some way, somehow, on some area, but... Don't thank you. Thank you to Nancy for letting me know. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Still cute. For red. Uh, not for $44. Uh-uh. Uh, yeah. Oh, they even have, like, a marking on their... Thing. They getting good. Mm -hmm. Those Chinese people getting good. Don't say that. Huang Chang is getting good at his job. Huang Chang. I bet they get in trouble. Like Huang Chang, you're not doing it right. This should be Long Shan Paris. This should be thinner. Huang Chang. Anyway, we ain't paying no forty four dollars for freaking fake Long Shan. Not too bad for Wang Chang. <laughs> Too bad for Wong Chong. He's gonna get whipped. <laughs> so I really wanted to get this Dyson canister vacuum, but it's one fifty. Um, it's a DC thirty seven. I see them on Marketplace for two fifty. So, but I don't know. I feel like I have a handheld one already, and I have my cordless one. So do I really need a canister one for that price? Probably not. But it's good to have to clean your home. I mean, Dyson's are super expensive. I don't know that. There's Nancy. What's Nancy doing? It's actually really good. Nancy's eating sausage. She loves it hard. I like it, <laughs> Hard and long and hot. Mm. Do you like it, Nancy? Put it in your mouth. I did already. It's in your mouth. Oh, it's okay. all in your mouth. <laughs> Lange! Mm. <laughs> My lange Why? You don't, you're like soft, actually, and short. <laughs> hmm? What do you like? I like matigas. <laughs> I like long. Masarap. I like majusi. Majusi? What is majusi in Tagalog? I really don't know. Ma. Malansa. 
<laughs> no, but I'm saying it's like it stinks. I was <laughs> whoops. like fishy, fishy. Sometimes you want melanza. We sometimes it like stinky. Don't think stink is okay, Nancy. No, you're like fresh. Yeah. So I was gonna get this, but all of this is problematic right there. So I think we're gonna leave that behind. At least Nancy said so. Dress. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> it's a backpack. This is how we were back in the 90s. Nancy, you're a bitch. <laughs> if you want to really get back at someone, you slam the phone down. Oh, yeah. I want Nancy this. <laughs> Nancy. There you go. Those go well together, this and that. Oh, yeah. Nancy, Nancy. Pearl, oh. and <laughs> thank you, Nancy, and thank Bye. you for the charcuterie board and the sausages. Now you eat it right away. Sausages. Nancy's the sausage. only one that gives me sausage. Sausage. Because <laughs> I'm not getting sausage from men, so Nancy has to give me sausage. Sausage! <laughs> <laughs> I just finished having a mother freaking coughing fit I had to leave value village because i don't know my throat just all of, them, all of a sudden got itchy and just people still look at you weird if you're coughing in public unfortunately um even if you're doing this <clears throat> so i just ran in the car <laughs> through the okay wait turn that off for a second <laughs> it's like doesn't matter i just want the chair welcome back to the video i hope you're doing well we are doing the haul portion of the video i got back to my apartment it was funny because they were like fixing the hallways and then <laughs> the guy who was like installing who was cute by the way um he was like playing with my dog i'm like oh that's so cute his name is pally poo he is blind a little bit senile but that's okay but he's a very old boy he is 16 years old he turned last month and he's a shih tzu poodle mix he doesn't really like to be coddled that much but we're doing it right now because we love him so much. Yeah, he's doing way better. So thank you to everybody who has sent their well wishes and messages. I appreciate it so much. I love him. See, he didn't bump and he just got out of the door. <laughs> so sometimes he'll still bump, but I mean, he's old. He's an old guy, but I'm at home because I didn't want to leave my dog for too long alone. Um, I've been, we went grocery shopping at Shopper's Drug Mart. Shopper's Drug Mart is probably my favorite places to shop for groceries because of their point system. I feel like the reward system, PC Optimum points are one of the best rewards points in Canada. And if you catch them on sale days, re uh, double redemption days, um, bonus redemption days, there's just so many things and I love their point system. I'm, I'm just so loyal to it. Uh, we picked up a few things. Picked up four of these for $5. They're the free and clear. Key lime and golden peach carbonated water. If you guys know, you know. That's how we lost a lot of our weight is through carbonated water and not drinking juices or soda. Um, I picked up some cheese because we a cheese ho. These are actually, they seem like really reasonable prices. These are all like $4 and I feel like they're more usually. Four dollars, four dollars, four dollars. I like this for sandwiches, this for nibbling on, and this for like melted cheese on nachos or keto nachos or pizza or whatever. This was three something. Main Street Deli meat turkey breast, 45 calories for three slices and carbs are one. And then we picked this up um, to nibble on. It's not keto, but if I eat uh, four squares I love this is one of my favorite chocolate bars guys um lint hazelnut I love hazelnut chocolate so if I eat four squares it would be 85 calories and the carbs would be uh 6.5 which isn't bad that's still within your color uh your keto uh carb intake so as long as you don't eat the whole bar so here's the stuff that we got thrifting, a little bit expensive, but I, you know, there's some room for profit. 
you know value village are greedy motherfuckers nowadays so how you can't you know what you gonna do you can't do anything they're greedy motherfuckers but coach leather 30 bucks use a 20 percent off coupon which i guess helps uh really good condition the leather has softened uh, a bit but i feel like we can still get 60 dollars for this corners look good looks a little bit you know newer style so paid 30 probably will sell for 60. we picked this up one of our favorite styles from uh coach it's the coach mini tanner from 2012. uh 20 dollars. so this was a little bit more reasonable like hello um, corners look good, combination of canvas and leather, not factory outlet. This is one of the first bags I remember when I was started loving Coach that did not include a Creed inside. And people, and that's why they think it's fake and they priced it at $20 because there is no Creed inside. And these are one model where they don't have the Creed, guys. They don't. They started this in 2012. So, yeah, and it's in great condition. I love the color. Perfect for spring and yeah we'll probably sell this for 60 locally okay i picked this up because i feel it's like a pretty pretty good quality i don't know but but we picked it up because it's real leather because the fonting is better we've seen fonting where it's too big where it's too close to the bottom the fonting should be closer to the top for the authentic i picked it up because the these are marked and on the back is marked and i think the inside also is a mark where is it somewhere here i saw it inside somewhere and there and it's pretty good quality guys it is i picked it up too yeah because it's real leather and because i saw this TikTok of this like asian guy who um he was shopping in japan and he had like a birkin and but he was using it as like a shopping bag but it was so torn up it was like fraying the piping was exposed there was like but the guy's like i can't tell if that's a real birkin or not because the guy looks like he would carry a real Birkin, but at the same time, it's so, like, messed up. And, but, you, know, you know, rich people don't give a fuck about their bags. They, well, for the most part, they, you know, they don't baby it as much, I feel like, and because they can just afford to get a new one. But I picked it up because I love the color, and it's, uh, and it's real leather, and the inside looks good, too. So, $20.00. It could be just sort of like throw around bags. And I know if you guys have a watch, I've watched a lot of reality shows where like the rich housewives would have like really good quality Birkins and they just pretty much use it as like a throw around bag. This would make an excellent throw around bag. I feel like it's not immediately clockable. The stitching is slanted, which is good. And it's just, I feel like it's a good quality one, a good quality, a good quality one, you know? Make it like a beach bag, shopping bag. You're like, hello, leather, our mouths. Might not be real, but do you know if I have the real one? Do you know if I have the real one? Got that. I was excited to find Dior for $6. We use a $2 off coupon. Um, Is this a... Okay, so it's a gift with purchase. Uh, it says right there, with compliments from Parfums Christian Dior. And it's, yeah. Oh, whoops. And it's brand new and i love this it's look, like look it's cute very cute i have a ton of christian dior makeup bags but not one with the original box i love that this doesn't say uh pot of food because technically 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 you can actually repurpose this into like dior and say that it's authentic dior because it is authentic dior oh that's cool even like the inside looks nice look with those stars and shit very nice and i like that it doesn't say parfum or fragrance anywhere on the actual uh makeup bag which makes it a, i feel like a, a tad more desirable um so me and nancy are starting our new endeavor i'm pretty sure i don't nancy's pretty reliable she doesn't really back out of shit she's she's a very trustworthy reliable biatch okay <laughs> so um nancy and i have decided to take up sewing so we're gonna take a sewing class and because i really 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 i can't rely on anybody else to do anything for me so i have to do shit myself okay and you guys remember last year not last year march of last year i had like some leather guy that was supposed to do shit for me but he never really got back to me he said it's gonna be a six month wait but it's really been over almost a year have to get all my shit back from him but i don't really like I, he's a good guy it just he's too busy to handle my shit and i need my shit done okay 
So I want to thrift some amazing luxury pieces and repurpose them. I know it's been done before, but I feel like um, I can do a better job. <laughs> But you guys saw that I, I thrifted a Burberry shirt uh, a couple days ago. Um, I wanted to repurpose that into scrunchies or lining for leather goods or whatever, you know. Uh, I thought it would be a perfect thing for scrunchies because all the Burberry buttons were marked Burberry and I could put one button on the scrunchie. It'll just, it, I thought it just would look so cute. Sell them for like $40 to $50 each. I feel like people would buy that. And I, yeah, I just want to do that. I feel like it's my calling to do that. So it would be like luxury, made in Canada, handmade by Yo Miss Philly. And yeah, and I do have a lot of things to repurpose. Like I have a Burberry scarf. I have a Burberry bag that I want to repurpose. I have a Louis Vuitton luggage that I want to repurpose. Everything obviously is going to be repurposed from authentic, you know, um, luxury goods. So I'm trying to think what else do I have. Um, but I, now I have to thrift another one of those Burberry plaids because those are so cute. Um, yeah, so if I find them at the thrift store for like $8, $10, $20, I will snatch them up because you can probably make like over 20 scrunchies or at least 15 to 20 scrunchies with each one. Uh, but the thing is, the only reason I sold it was because I sold it for $120 and I paid $8, so I had to. A bitch needs money now. A bitch don't know how to sew yet, okay? But yeah, our classes start, we wanted to join, but then the classes started today. Uh, bitches aren't prepared. So our next class is going to start in April. So I think Nancy and I are going to do that. We're going to do take the beginning beginners courses for sewing. And I eventually want to do, like there's three levels, I believe. Uh, beginners, intermediate, advanced. Once we do those three courses, I, I personally want to go into leather work and see what I can do because I would love to start making my, my own leather bags or... or I don't want to look too that far, but maybe my small leather goods myself. And I'm not really crafty, but when I'm passionate about something and I am passionate about luxury leather goods designer, I feel like even though I'm, I don't feel like I'm good at it, I can, the skills can be taught to me is what I'm trying to say. And what else? Another cool idea I thought would be like, but it's just an idea like this. This is an authentic Dior cardboard thing. Can I repurpose this logo or like this cardboard? Maybe put it behind some cellophane or plastic. Maybe maybe outline it in leather, then build a bag around it. I don't know. Like I know it sounds like crazy, but I have some ideas. Like it's going to be obviously a hit or miss. I obviously want to start slow with um, the scrunchie idea. I feel like that would be cute. Scrunchies, um, friendship bracelets, maybe. I don't know, whatever. Whatever you can make out of material. Once we're done sewing, then maybe we can parlay that into leather work. It's an idea. What do you guys think? Because uh, I really need to get... I, I've been waiting for this guy to like <laughs> literally make my shit, but I feel like it'd be better if I make my own shit in high quality. Anyway, guys, that's all that we got today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of the stuff that I thrifted, which item is your favorite, and what you think about Nancy and I doing our so-so-so, make-make-make, and money-money-money. <laughs>